Hello, welcome back to the Corgi Town USA podcast. As always, I'm Candy. In my lap is Chuckles, the tricolor corgi, our spokes cork. That's right. We also have the lovely, wonderful Cat Cohen, my <laughs> own personal Vanna White. <laughs> and I like that. Business coach, TEDx speaker, Corgi Wrangler. Corgi Wrangler. Executive yes. producer of this podcast. Absolutely. Certifiably insane. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Are you certifiably? I, I don't know. I, yeah, I'll say certifiably. I mean, we're corgi people, so we know we're yeah, crazy. Probably. Um, in studio tonight, Wigan and Digby are not here. That's um actually this first one without Digby. Poor guy. I know. Um, he's at home with Wigan, but I have Chuckles in my lap. Mortimer is joining us in studio. Uh, so is Booger. Booger's here tonight. Booger's running around as well. Yeah, Hammer's here. He's just not in the studio. So no. um, but Book decided to join the fun, so good for her. She usually likes the crowd. Probably because Digby is not here. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty thrilled that, uh, yeah. She's I, I showed up without Digby. Yeah, I think she's like, oh, this is wonderful. You always bring him. <laughs> so tonight, we are uh, all donning our Shade Out DM gear. I'm in my purple. I'm looking groovy. I know. I should have went with purple eyeshadow instead of blue. I don't know. I didn't play that well. But I have the um, eyeshade out DM. What's your superpower? Kat has the Casey um, DM Warrior shirt on. We also have our little wristy bandy doos. We do. And little bandanas. Little DM bandanas. We need to show Chucky. Chucky. Chucky's wearing his as well. I don't know what happened to it. It's, it was there. It's there. We promise it was yeah. there. Ch Chuckles is donning his as well. So this episode is to celebrate the race that is about to happen. We as Corgi Town USA are a corporate sponsor. Um, we are very passionate about the work that Shade Out DM is doing for Absolutely. DM awareness. And we're here to support the cause. So we brought our wonderful friend, Tony Beckman, back yes. on. And we're going to talk about the race. Um, so should we bring her on and see how far we Ab can digress since we're so good at that? <laughs> Absolutely. We will digress and, okay. and get some race info in as well. All right. Yes. Let's get some race info. Tani, welcome back. Hi. Hi. Hey, Thanks for you guys. You too. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us tonight again and giving us your time and um, helping helping with this wonderful cause and allowing us to be a part of it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for joining in and helping us uh, support us in this deal. This is a a super fun thing. So I'm really grateful for you guys to join us. Yeah, we're grateful too. It's a lot of fun. And we that's why we're all like decked out with the swag, man. I love it. Yeah. We're all swagged out. And you've got the hat with all the pins. Tell yeah. us about the pins. pins. Tell us so about these the pins. Are real the quickly. Awareness pins that um, Momo Patch has been doing for us to um, raise awareness about degenerative myelopathy. Um, Momo Patch is a, a Corgi specific mainly company. So they've been really great, fantastic about um, doing these awareness pins for us. We do have a few that are not corgis, but this disease affects more than just corgis. So it right. affects over 100 breeds. And we wow. usually try to come out with a new pin uh, about every couple of months. Um, she's had some a surgery on her hand. So it's it, we're a little bit behind. Um, that, but we want her to get well because she does such a beautiful Absolutely. work. So, yeah. We've actually, invi we've invited her to be on the podcast and, uh, yeah, with her, with her recovering and things, it'll, it'll be a while, but yeah, she said when she heals, she'll be glad to come and tell us more about Momo Patch. So, and I'm so Love glad it. that she's doing those. Those are the DM warriors. Yes. Love it. And yeah. we're going to touch back and dear audience, if you're, if you're listening and not viewing, please go to our YouTube page. Um, so you can see some of the swag cause it's a lot of fun. You can go to the shade out DM website. Um, and then you can see some of the swag there. It's beautiful purple stuff. We have these adorable corgis and their wheels and the Casey mascot and it's just it's fun stuff to have and um, you feel good sporting it you feel like super cute in it and you're also uh, just supporting a wonderful cause that's right so uh, one of we've done some episodes before we've talked about Casey's cruisers and we've talked about the shade M, uh, shade out DM intro in uh, season one right so what I want to touch back on for our new audience members and maybe some existing that don't know um, with Shade Out DM, will you please tell us uh, where the shades came from, how you got started with the shades? Yeah, so uh, just a, a real quick. Um, so Casey was my corgi that had degenerative myelopathy. 
And uh, I've had corgis for over 25 years and had never heard of DM. Um, mm -hmm. So it, it clearly was a, a problem in that uh, a lot of vets here locally didn't know about DM. Um, and it took us a while to get to a vet that knew. But in the meantime, we started doing hydrotherapy and um, to entertain ourselves while she would swim, um, we would put on little sunnies and just take a picture real quick. And uh, people would <laughs> people would just melt with how cute it was. Um, yeah. And then it became a thing. So people started, our, all of Casey's fans um, started mailing her sunnies, sunglasses um, from all over the world. And so there, every day we went to swim, we took a picture with a different pair of sunnies on. And um, when she crossed the bridge, uh, we had been raising awareness about DM, not uh, not intentionally, just people following her journey, um, you know, in Corgi Nation, uh, word travels fast and people started mm -hmm. following Casey. So next thing you know, there's 5,000 people following her journey. So um, it became awareness without us planning on that being that intention. Um, but when she crossed the bridge, uh, one of our dear friends who's taken the DM journey three times um, oh said... Uh, you got to keep doing this. And um, I think you should call it Shade Out DM. So here we are. We're shading out DM. Yeah. That in it, I love the, I love that metamorphosis. I mean, I, I, I don't. I it myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To credit her. Yes. I have to be careful with my words. I don't love that DM exists. I don't right. love that our uh, dear beloved fur friends have to deal with it but um uh, but i love the metamorphosis of the idea and how casey is like such a trailblazer and hopefully we're going to save a lot of uh potential puppies being born from not doing this by spreading yeah, you know, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because uh that's kind of something that i we've been dealing with a little bit and um you know it says up here canine als and we have joined mm -hmm. up with uh, several of the other ALS groups because ALS does affect people. Right, and right. Um, so I, I've honestly been talking with them a lot. We, we support the ALS community a lot. We, we totally, they just, um, our local chapter in San Diego had a walk for ALS that also became virtual again. And so, of course, we absolutely did a team for that um, because it's, it's something that's important. But I, I take their lead. I mean, I, I follow their lead in that it's a horrific disease. It's an awful disease. It but is. our goal is to spread the word. And people don't necessarily want to jump on board if it's a sad thing, because it is a sad thing. Yeah. So we do the best with what we can every single day. And we got to have fun uh, doing it so that it attracts other people's attention to wanting to know more about it so very geez, very true please don't ever mistake me being cheerful for liking the disease that's not it at all i just no. Uh, no. choose i just choose to to spread the word in a forward motion you know the translation is that you are enthusiastic about the work you're doing because you're saving lives that's and right. that's we're right along the ride with you we're so glad to be a part of this because we are also passionate about it that's right so, so that's the translation for you. Thank oh, you. we're great. We're grateful for you. I mean, you're you're trailblazing yeah. this whole thing. I mean, what uh, this is, this is not an easy thing. Not only did you face it and deal with it, but you're using it to fight back, and and that's the best way to to deal with adversity. You look to, it in the face every single day. Yeah, and 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 helping while, others that are going through it. While it may have taken Casey, it hasn't taken your spirit, right. nor has it taken her spirit. So. Much like a corgi, they keep Much on going. Like they keep on going. That's Nothing right. It's that spirit. determined corgi spirit. And and it does take my spirit. Actually, a close friend reminded me yesterday that she, they, everybody cares so much. And, and she did remember in our Zoom meeting um, that it was the anniversary that Casey crossed the bridge yesterday for four years. Aww. And, um, you know, that touches you so hard because, yeah, here I yeah. am trying to like, not pay attention to it. Just keep my focus on what we're doing here. Yeah. And, and that meant so much that she did remember and she loved Casey and never got to meet her. Um, but 
everybody was just so connected with her. So it, you're absolutely right. And it is, we do face it every day because we do do the wheelchair program also. And yep. there's so many people that we're, we are taking the journey again and again with them because I can't help but let my heart get involved. <laughs> of course, yeah. of course. Yeah, it's you, you, it becomes impossible to look the other way to things um, that you care about, but yes. especially things that have personally affected you and that you've seen. It's just it's it's the human spirit yep. um, to be like, yeah, I'm going to get involved in this, even if it's tough on my on my mental facilities. Um, but it's <laughs> it's such important work. It is. And um, in memory of Casey in and memory all, of Casey and all our little fur babies, we're here for it. And, you know, I actually had a grief counselor tell me one time hmm. that I met by chance at a networking event. She was the speaker. Uh, she was there to talk about her work with being a grief counselor. And it was right after I'd lost Zelda, mm. right after Zelda okay. crossed the rainbow bridge. So I was just trying to hold it together thinking I'm going to stay busy. I'm going to do these things. I'm going to go to the networking meeting. Right. And then a grief counselor shows up and I thought, oh, I'm in trouble. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But she told me, she said, do you have little rituals? And I said, well, I talked to her. I, I mean, I still talk to them. I talk to the alive ones and the not alive ones. And she said, keep those rituals. Those rituals are very, very healing. Uh, forget what anyone thinks about them. Forget if you're being judged or anything like that. Just keep those rituals because mm -hmm. those are very cathartic and they're very healing to you. And it keeps you connected to the memory of your departed loved ones. Yeah. And I thought, what a wonderful thing to be to be told. Uh, and it is what I needed to hear. And so I've had the pleasure of repeating that to anyone who is going through grief and is going through that kind of loss is that, hey, this keep the rituals. Keep, the rituals yeah, are keep important. Those things. It's probably why we go to cemeteries and we have that whole concept of, you know, that ritual. I, I know growing up, it was the ritual of going to see my grandfather and uh, my mom's dad and my grandmother, my dad's mom. It's a ritual. Yeah. Ritual. You're keeping memory alive by the That's ritual. Right. And so by doing something like this, this is very ritualistic in a way because it is in memory of. And so there is, there's catharsis in that. There's some catharsis in that. And so let's talk about this race. And the goal of the race is to help spread the awareness, correct? Absolutely. How, how Absolutely. does it do that? Tell us how the race helps. Well, uh, so if we can get one person um, to post something on social media, um, social media has become a beautiful thing for what we do, um, just because that is how uh, Casey got her following. I didn't know about Facebook, really. Uh, I actually had a kid teach me. <laughs> of course. The kids, the kids set up Casey's Facebook group originally, and next thing you know, <laughs> all these people are following her. <laughs> I don't really know how that worked out, but um, it, it worked out in our favor in that, um, in that people started reaching out to us and saying, oh my God, I think this is what my dog has too. Or, oh my gosh, I had a dog with this also. And it was dog after dog after dog after dog. It, it was just unbelievable to me. Yeah. Is anybody keeping track of how many dogs there are that are taking this journey? You know, and, and it's not just corgis, but uh, corgis have a, a very large percentage right now. Um, but it it's it's a lot of breeds. And, and there is a I mean, don't get me into the numbers right now, just because that, that was one of my discussions with someone today. Um, and, and, uh, but bottom line, I kind of feel like this group is going to keep on digging. They're going to keep going. Um, and they're just going to keep trying to raise awareness. If we can tell one person um, about DM, then they will know to look and ask questions when they go looking for their next puppy. And right. so, um, you know, I absolutely uh, support rescue and DM sometimes comes with rescue. And so those of us, like I took Layla on as a rescue and uh, I don't know if she'll end up with DM and we're not testing her because honestly, at this point, it's not going to change. I love her anyway, you know, and if she does, I, end up, if she does end up getting DM, we know how to help her. Well, if she'll let us, <laughs> but of course, uh, huh? of course only if she'll let us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, the she's... corgis call the shots. Yes. <laughs> Boys, let's be honest. Absolutely. So 
how do we raise awareness? Um, you know, basically letting people know that they should be asking, asking, learning questions, you know, so that's all that the awareness is about. Um, we, we want people to spread the word. And when we've done events, um, like at at Corgi events, people have said, Oh, that's so sad. Your Corgi got that. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. And I've said, Oh, well, what kind of dog do you have? And they say a boxer. And I said, well, come on over here. (laughs) You know, we need to, we need to give you the information too. So, um, basically it, it is just raising awareness through social media to get people to ask what, what is DM? Learn what is DM? Can it be prevented? Absolutely. If you're breeding dogs, you can absolutely choose wisely and breed it out of your lines, you know, but, um, I think right now, like, it's just, it's just, there's, there's so much, people aren't doing it to be nasty. They're doing it just because they don't know. So our job is to get the word out and um, let people know that we want to get away from this disease. And I've been told that um, you're not going to be able to get rid of DM in your lifetime. And uh, my answer to that is probably not, but I'm going to go out trying. Yeah. Absolutely. That's 100%. And listener, viewer, if you think about getting a puppy, please make sure your breeder does the genetic testing for degenerative myelopathy and shows you documentation that they did that your litter is not at risk. Yes. That's huge. That, that's, that's how we prevent it is that you don't breed carriers. And uh, there are some, from what I understand, some naysayers out there will that will uh, try to make excuses mm. um, as to yeah. why I personally have not been convinced. Uh, and I even try to be open on things like maybe I don't understand because I think part of the argument is that all of the research is not done that we don't know. Okay, absolutely. But we do know 100% that the litter could be at risk by breeding carriers at some, 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 at some point, it doesn't mean that they will ultimately get it. But uh, to me, that is enough. The risk is enough. So uh, if you get a puppy from a breeder, please definitely insist on the test and the documentation. So that's what we can, that's what we can do. That's what we can tell you to help uh, so that you don't have to go through it. And as we're talking about the race and uh, what Shade Out DEM does with the uh, raising awareness, can we expect more races in the future? Do we, are we going to have live races? There have been live races before. Um, can you tell us about that, the future of Shade Out DM and the events? Absolutely. So in 2019, that was um, early in 2019, Tarleton State University chose to Shade Out DM uh, to do a walk um, for their service day, for their whole college, for their Department of Communications, the whole, wow. the whole department. So that was super cool. Um, Dr. Tracy Holly uh, headed that up with um, Dr. Kirstie Horton, and they um, did an amazing job. And in that, they asked the group, Shade Out DM, if there was anybody local that had a DM dog that could come, and a few dogs did come, and pioneer it. And that was so good because the students got to see what DM dog, what, what it looks like to have DM. And they got to see the dogs in their wheelchairs. They actually put a face with the name of, of uh, face and name with why, what the purpose is, you know? So um, that was amazing. So then we went into um, a Corgi event and um, were able to set up our first in-person race. Um, so that was fun. And it was in-person and uh, virtual. And we were gung-ho. Uh, meanwhile, we were, we still had people all over the country that would go to um, corgi events and and just all pet events, you yeah. know, human society events or whatever. And we would set up a booth and educate people that way about DM. Um, but then COVID hit. <laughs> so yeah. last year uh, we went to all virtual, 100% virtual, um, and it, surprisingly, it went amazing. And it actually opened up an even larger avenue for us to spread the word through social media, which was uh, awesome. And a lot of other breeds got involved at that point. So that was really exciting. And we have an international division, too, in the race. Um, So it's spreading the information worldwide. 
Um, right now, the, the Australia team, the Netherlands team, the Taiwan team, I mean, they're just wow on fire. They're unbelievable. Yeah, it's so exciting. So, um, I mean, and I, like we said earlier, it's, it's so exciting in that they're really getting stuff done. You know, they're really getting the word out there. Amazing. So, um, yeah, throughout the world, um, we're, we're basically the way it works. I don't think I answered that question. We're just asking somebody to start a team. Uh, if they if they're familiar with DM, start a team. If they're not familiar with DM, just jump on the race. Uh, Corgi Town USA has a team. Just saying. Yes, Corgi Town USA has a team. <laughs> yes, or any any DM warrior, you can do that too. Either way, but yes, absolutely, Corgi Town USA definitely join their team. Um, and the reason is, is we have different categories, which are slash divisions, but we chose that we would like to call them categories because there's just too much division in the world these days. So we're trying to call yeah. them categories. Um, but uh, there's all different kinds. So there's a university um, division or category. There's an international, you know, so they're not competing against each other, that kind of thing. And we do have a lot of prizes. We've got some great sponsors that are willing, donating all kinds of stuff. So what we do is we're asking you, it's going to be a week long, um, mm -hmm. November 1st through 7th. Um, okay. We're asking you to sign up for the race. And then every day, just post a picture um, of you holding your race number or your pup holding the race number. Or like you can kind of see here the pups with their numbers, you know. And right. um, listener, gonna... please go to YouTube so that you can see what Tony's talking about. But also... Uh, we have a banner here. If you go to race at your own pace to hashtag shade out DM. So it's run sign up.com. Is that that's how you access it? Run sign up.com. And then you can um, look for shade out DM race at your own pace. Um, Corgi Town USA does have a corporate category. We will do a giveaway if you join. Um, but you might know a DM warrior and you want to join their team. But you go to run sign up.com and it's the race at your own pace. Uh, to shade out DM. So if you're listening, that's the information. If you're viewing, it's on the screen. Okay, continue, Tony. Yeah, yeah. So um, run, sign up, and you have to choose which one. Um, we've used this platform in the past, so you have to choose a 2021 race. Um, and it's okay. this one is called a hybrid race, um, even though we're just doing virtual again this year. Um, right. In the future, we'd like to do uh, in person again. It, it certainly is fun and exciting to get everybody together. And we'll, we just want to make sure we're going to do it safely. So we'll we'll have to decide that when the time comes. But for now, this year, it's virtual 100% again. And um, then during that week, we'll be having free giveaways. So uh, how wonderful. Get Every away, paid away. entry gets entered into free giveaways. And we've got a lot of really cool stuff being donated I, for those giveaways. I have a question. Is it all corgis? Because uh, all the giveaways? Breeds? No, all, all breeds are all breeds are part of uh, the race. You don't yeah. even have to have a dog to join the race. You uh, yeah. can just join yourself. Cause, well, because I, I thought I came up with something clever, but I guess I didn't. I came <laughs> up with corgi gories. Corgi Gory. Oh, that's darling. Corgi Gories. <laughs> Corgi Gory. That reminds me of one of our past guests. Do Datteries. Doggy Do Datteries. Doggy Do Datteries. Doggy Do Datteries. Right. Corgi Gories. <laughs> okay. I love so, it. So, all breeds, you don't have to have a pup. You can join um you can join our race to shade out DM. Again, it's runsignup.com and it's race at your own pace to hashtag shade out DM. Yes. And you can still as Tony said, you can participate you don't have to have a pup but if you do have a pup take a photo and post a photo race number and you are going to be on the website on the internet forever well i don't know maybe not forever <laughs> but for a long time right and if you and if you have a cat cats can love dogs too and they can be in the race people's children yeah people's and children's <laughs> you can you can have those if you have one of those um pet the little pet pigs Yes. Cat's yes. going off script. I'm going no. off script, but I'm trying <laughs> to get as many people understanding this and and really How supporting this. This, this the, I, you know, we're making a joke about it, but it's truly 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 important. It is. Yes, this is last, 
last year we had a horse it was actually penny the wheelchair corgi and oh, uh-huh. her and her she she calls him her stupid brother the horse or whatever but <laughs> <laughs> penny and her horse won one of the we also give away prizes for most creative cre- creativity most creative you know and um all kinds of different you know best team spirit you know all that stuff and so um we have a, a team of people that uh keep track of everything on instagram posts and twitter posts and all of that um and and they watch what pops up so it's important when you post to then tag shade out dm so it pops up and it gets counted um but yes we had a horse we had a chicken with a race number on it last year your chickens chickens can be race numbers yeah have little race numbers yeah yeah it was darling so um yeah absolutely we've had actually a few horse pictures go through cool. so. and actually uh some of the pony club kids went and put those big giant sunglasses on their horses and took pictures that way so. that's adorable so if you're listening if you're viewing you can be part of this you don't have to be corgi of course you don't have to be dog you don't have to have a dog it sounds like you can have a turtle chicken Maybe animal, animal, mineral, vegetable. Vegetable. Yes. Your emotional support eggplant can put on his shades. (laughs) Give him a race number. We kid, but we're very passionate. And we would love for you to join. This is a call to action. Absolutely. And so we, we definitely want you to try. And so we, we want you to sign up. We want you to join. And that's the call to action, right? Tani, how can everybody help? Other than that? So if we can get one person posting it, then, um, you know, we'll get 10 people that will see it. And then 10 people, if they join and they post, and next, you know, you got a hundred people posting about it. So the goal is just to get it seen, get it seen on social media, get people to say, oh my gosh, that's a cute picture. What is, what is DM? What is that? Yeah. Yeah. Make it go viral. Yep. Make it go viral. Yeah. Share, like, subscribe, uh, definitely join if you can. It's super easy. It takes two seconds. Um, you just get on the old internet. You get on the internet and you join. You go to runsignup.com for the race at your own pace to shade out DM for 2021. And again, if, uh, if that point did not land, uh, this disease slowly degrades your dog and they start losing control of their back legs and it gradually moves up and it very much hinders um, quality of life. But the most important thing is that it can be prevented. We don't have to have it. Right. So by spreading this awareness, not only are we preventing future dogs from having DM, but we are also letting people know about what it is, how it can be, be prevented right. and what you can do. You can join the race. You can share hashtag shade out DM, get on your social media channels and also purchase from responsible breeders. If you get a puppy um, and make sure that they show you documentation, test, 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 test. test, test, test. Did I get that right, Tony? Have I covered that? The call to action. Absolutely. And we have prizes. We've got lots and lots of prizes. Last oh, yeah. Year free gave, stuff. Last year, we gave away 80 prizes. It was wow. unbelievable. So there was there was 800 and something people in it and um, 80 prizes were given. So I'd say that's 10 <laughs> percent. Your odds are one in 10 of winning. One in 10. That's pretty that's good. Right. Pretty yeah. good. Pretty yeah, darn good, right? Pretty darn good. We'll have we'll have Corgi Town giveaways too. Yes. Um, for joining ours, we have our Chucky T-shirts that are uh, for the podcast, and so those will be a giveaway item for yeah, um, very much. That's the thing. Each team can do whatever they want. So some teams are playing bingo. Some teams are um, they have a a um scavenger hunt going on oh i mean all kinds of fun stuff is what they're doing within their team so some people are just getting together and going to the beach together um they just all have big plans so and and then there's people that have just one or two people on their team and they just want to support and represent their pup and keep it private like you were saying and and that's totally fine too any team is available for anybody to join if they'd like um, and of course, those DM parents would love to have 
the support if there's anyone that wants to just join a team. Um, Absolutely. But some of the teams are really having fun. Sounds like Corgi Town is going to have a lot of fun too. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, we don't know any other way. Right? <laughs> we put the fun in dysfunctional. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we do we do i like scavenger hunt find the corgi I fur right. oh, <laughs> Gu <okay>. guaranteed winner <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure that's a challenge <laughs> right <laughs> find oh. the corgi fur the here, answer to here. that is all over the house yeah right, in right. and in the car and places on your body you didn't even know you had the, the magic, there too yes. <laughs> corgi magic corgi it's magic corgi glitter adhesive on one side <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yes free with every corgi Ooh, very much. <laughs> well please join us join the um race and it's again tell us the date sunny so it's november 1st through 7th you can oh. sign up up until um november 7th the difficulty is though we will be totaling all the scores by the 6th so if you mm. can get in sooner that would make sure ensure that your vote get or your entry gets counted for the overall prizes because the seventh we plan to have the Facebook Live free giveaway and announce the winners. And last oh, year, uh, it took a little longer than I thought. Um, so I think uh, Corgi Town USA is going to help me with that a little bit. Um, we would be happy got, to. Yes. It, it got dark on me last year. Ted and I did it ourselves because of COVID. We weren't supposed to be having any help with anything you know doing it so we just kind of winged it and um put everybody that paid into a big bucket put their names into a big bucket and i had him draw and read the name and we gave away a lot of stuff so that was fun sounds like fun yeah they're gonna be giveaways you're supporting a great cause you're raising awareness and let's be honest you are gonna share those instagram photos anyway help us this out by hashtagging shade out dm and joining the race Tani, thank you so much for uh, joining us. And we are going to be broadcasting to um, encourage you to join the race uh, because you will have several days um, to still do so at the time of this broadcast. So any final thoughts before we release you for the evening? Thank you so much. I really appreciate everything. And thanks for promoting uh, Shade Out DM, Race to Shade Out DM. Yeah. All yes. right. All Looking right. forward to it. Have a great night. Bye. You. Good night. So I'm expecting chicken photos. <laughs> I'll get in chicken photos. With shades. Uh, yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> have you met my chickens? Yeah. Yeah, the, the shades are not happening. <laughs> you have Digby herd them. Yeah. Have Digby run around. Digby and Wigan can herd the chickens so that you can get your, you know, shade out DM. I can pick the chickens up. They will not. I, I don't think they make shades that little, but we'll get... Digby shades and Wigan shades and everything we can get shades for. We'll get shades. Yeah. I mean, I'm expecting it. Okay. And anyone listening, watching, go to our corporate categories, Corgi Town USA on the run, sign up for Shade Out DM. And hopefully you'll see some of Kat's chickens because hopefully. I have just challenged her. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and giveaways. Giveaways. Stuff. Don't forget. the. It's easy to sign up. Mm -hmm. Two shakes of a Corgi's butt. Two shakes, two shakes of a nub. Two shakes of a nub. I'm getting all the quirky stuff in. Yeah. Runsignup.com. Race at your own pace to hashtag shade out DM. November 1st through 7th. Join us. Join your favorite DM Warriors team. Join yep. Corgi Town USA yes, team. Corporate categories. Thank you so much for helping us with this important cause. Yes. Every Thursday, we're here for you. All things Corgi. Candy, cat. And tonight, Chuckles Mortimer. And Booker, signing yes. off, Corgi Town USA. Good night.